these are actually but, 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 just for the sake of sorry just for the sake of the audience who might not know um because this is quite high level stuff and that's great that's the point but can you just briefly if possible summarize the doctrine of occasionalism what how, what that mean god's action in creation what what is occasionalism just in case people aren't familiar with it sure i mean first of all in in classical islam both the mutazila and the philosopher the philosophers accepted natural causation right, right. i mean i like th there's a sound here, I hit the pen with this, the other part of it, and sound comes up because there's natural causation between them. Or when you push an object, the billiards, you put the push the ball and they, so. so the cause and effect. Objects, and objects have a, pot a potential, you know, in them, which to influence each other. Uh, that's generally how most people perceive the world. But the uh, Asherite theology had a different view. They said, no, God, they, they don't have an effect like this. God recreates the world at every instant. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like, a, I said, a computer game. Like in a computer game, you can think that you throw something, it goes, but actually the processor is, you know, recreating every yeah. scene at every time. Right. So the Asherites defended this view. Ghazali defends that, you know, in his famous example of cotton burning through fire, he says, what burns, when you bring cotton and fire, Cuts and burns, but act, what actually burns it, it's God builds it at the time, maybe through angels, maybe without angels. But so there is this uh, insistence. Thank you. Now, yeah. there yeah, is. And, and actually, I would, I would add, let me add something here because this is an important point here to, to highlight is that, um, uh, that this is not a denial of the laws of physics, right? You know, this actually is just a theological matter. The question is okay, well, uh, uh, you know, Allah created laws, right, for things, right? However, Inna. the creator, the one actually who brings things into existence, right, is the creator himself. Why and why, why do we say that? Because of what we understand from the Quran or what we understand from the Sunnah, right? Not, you know, just something independent of that, you know. So, so in other words, their position was that, that there are certain demands um, that are placed upon us, you know, as Muslims when we read the scripture itself, you know, the things we expect to embrace, you know. So, but believing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates things at every moment itself uh, doesn't lead to fatalism. It doesn't lead to this idea that the human being no longer has will or de uh, doesn't lead to this idea that responsibility has uh, has been sort of just just undermined, right, as a result of that. It's just it's simply saying, okay, well, I'm supposed to believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he himself is in control of those things, right? You know, uh, uh, but I ultimately... I'm held responsible for my choices, et cetera, right? And so, 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 so it's more of a theological. That is different. Issue. That is and fatalism. Again, this is one yeah. of the point. That one of the things I was criticizing uh, again, and of course, this is a this is a you know century centuries old debate, right? <laughs> right. And so, so we're not going to resolve it right, right. today, or, or probably ever, right? You know, but.